Hey, what's up? Late day on my way home and wanted to talk to you a little bit about habits slash systems and processes. So what do I mean by that? Every single day when you get up in the morning, what is it that you do almost without thinking? Uh, For example, I brush my teeth. I use the bathroom. I wet my hair down so it's not sticking up everywhere so then I can also let it dry so I can fix it. I make a cup of coffee. I sit down. I check my notifications on my phone. Things of that nature. I've got I've got a process or a system that I follow in the morning. It's it's more of a habit than anything. And that's kind of what systems and processes are when it comes to a C store. For example, let's just talk about coffee. Every single day, your cashiers, you, whoever it is, you have to make coffee at a certain time. You have to go back and check that coffee at a certain time. You have to go back and rebrew that coffee pretty much at a certain time. And you have to do these things consistently to the point where they become a habit. Whether it's you have had X amount of customers come up to your register with a cup of coffee, whether it's on a habitual basis, you know that if you brewed coffee at six by seven o'clock, it's time to brew more, whatever that may be. If you pay attention to how your store operates and the things that are going on each and every day, you don't even have to be the person that's doing it. Like for example, if you're the owner of a store, if you just sit back and watch consistently for a few days, what you'll find is that humans and people will move consistently. If you're building a loyal customer base that's going to visit and come every single day and buy pretty much the same items, you can set up your systems and processes to follow that movement. Uh, And what I mean by that is just like with my C-Store Secrets restroom cleaning chart, when you look at the heaviest traffic times of the day in almost every convenience store, my C-Store Secrets um, restroom cleaning chart that I've created pretty much will follow along with you're checking your restrooms during slow times and you are not checking them typically during your peak times. And why is that? I mean, you can't get to the restrooms during your peak times most likely, especially if you're short on labor because you and or your other laborer is either running the food service department or manning the cashier so that you can get customers in and out. So just like I have already created that system for you within the restroom cleaning chart, you can do those same things throughout your entire convenience store. And and to be quite honest with you, the C-Store Secrets checklist that tells you the things that need to be done every single day in your C-Store, when your cashiers and employees or whoever it is that you have, when it's time for them to do and perform that checklist, basically will follow along with when you are to check your restrooms. And why is that? It's because those are your slow times You've already hit your wave of traffic from customers coming in, picking through the store, and getting their items that they need. And so during that slow time, it's now your time to prep for the next wave of business. Okay? I think about it like this. Whenever you, whenever you, there's cartoons out there, and when you watch them, um, and they put like, I can't think of what cartoon it might have been, like a Wile E. Coyote or a Bugs Bunny or something. And, you know, Bugs Bunny's standing there and maybe he's holding up some merchandise or something or some food or or you imagine he's got bird seed on his arms. I don't know. I, I can't think of an exact scenario, but all of a sudden everything comes up and there's they bombard him and there's smoke flying everywhere and hair flying everywhere and or... or Maybe a better example is when the Tasmanian devil attacks somebody in the cartoons and he's attacking them and he's flying all around them and there's smoke going everywhere and there's clouds and there's dust and there's there's stuff flying everywhere and then when he stops and goes on to the next place, there sits 
whoever he attacked, Bugs Bunny or whatever, and they're completely bald and they're just like battered and 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 doesn't know, doesn't know what hit them. That's kind of how your sea story is during your busy times. You just imagine all these people and they just they just swarm your store and they get all the products that they want. They get what they need and they get in and out <coughs> and um, they leave. And so they've left your store kind of in a in a battered state, in a state where it's no longer fresh and new. And so what your job is with is to set up that system and use that checklist and use that restroom C store secrets checklist so that after that that attack on your store has taken place, which is obviously a good thing, that's when you come back through and you 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 tidy it up. You fix it so that the next wave of customers gets to see your store in tip-top shape, almost like no customers have visited, so that it makes your shopper experience better. Does that make sense? So systems and processes are very simple to create if you pay attention, if you do the hard part, slow down, stop, pay attention to what your customers are doing, how they're doing it, and you can see exactly how you need to adjust your business. It's kind of like filling your hot case in food. As you pay attention to the peak, the peak moments of your food, they may not match up exactly with the C-Store Secrets checklist, depending on where your store is located, or the C-Store Secrets restroom um, chart, because if you've got factories around you, they're taking lunches at different times and they're doing those different things. Now, I set that up so that most of your lunch hour, it would, it would match up directly, but sometimes maybe you have a, a weird early lunch rush, a 10 o'clock rush or a 9.30 rush, whereas most people are having an early a.m. rush and then that 10.30 to a, a, a 12.30, 1 o'clock rush, so it doesn't line up exactly. But the point is, is that systems and processes are not hard to set up. You just got to pay attention. That's the key. You got to pay attention to your customers. You got to pay attention to what they're doing. And that's what C-Store Secrets is all about. It's all about helping you pay more attention to your customers so that you generate more business, you generate more customers, you pull business back into your store that maybe you had lost or weren't getting. And all the cogs in that wheel, it goes back to using social media to bring those customers back. Using these systems and processes to make sure your store is in tip top shape for those customers when they come. Using that restroom cleaning chart so that your restrooms are in tip top shape so that you don't have good customers come in and see a nasty restroom and never want to come back and it happens. I was in a C-Store today, pretty nice looking C-Store, had some shady people coming in and out, but I went in the restroom and there was this wad of nasty toilet paper in the floor. And that automatically triggered a thought in my mind that although this customer is meeting with me and they want to go in the right direction, they have some, some flaws in their systems. They have some flaws in, in the things that they're doing that need to be addressed. And, and if, you know, if I were to sell them a program to grow their food service, it's things that we've got to make sure they understand is you've got to set up that system and follow it. So just wanted to share a little bit of information with you. I met with a guy today who is definitely interested in more information on systems and processes. And I want to help. I want to help any way that I can. And that's why I'm going to start sharing a little more information about how you can set up systems and processes in your convenience store so that it generates more business for your, for your business, more profit for your business, more customers for your business so that you can succeed. Um, and that's what I'm all about. I'm all about helping you win, helping you succeed so that you know you can achieve the dreams and achieve the things that you've set out to and make your life easier. That's another thing. I want to make your life easier so that you have less headache and um, you know better labor and, and more reliable labor so that you can do the things that you want to do as a business owner. So hopefully this helps and I will talk to you again soon and be sharing more information. Have a great day.